previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. Yes. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. <laughs> Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where did it come from? Whatever your beef is with me, leave my town out of it. They didn't do anything wrong. It's hard to hear your tiny voice from down there. Come, speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse, what's going on here? Gauntlet Bearer? That is all rather suspicious, isn't it? No kidding. I don't like it. No, sir, I do not like it. Uh, everyone, everyone, I. There's nothing to worry about. The giant prismarine colossus and I are going to work this out and everything can get back to normal. I swear. Okay, so, an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out, yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? Oh, I'm sure Jesse must have thought of something. I hope you're right. Don't worry, everyone. I'm going to try talking to it. Okay. Diplomacy. Nice. That sounds good. <clears throat> Test my patience. Guess you should get up there. Gauntlet bearer. Clay, coming your way. Thanks, Nell. Perfect. Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. Oh, 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 this is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. Why, yes, thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? to tempt you down to the Sea Temple. But now, your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Fight me, champion. Unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next. <laughs> Not today, Admin. 
Beacon Town can take anything you throw at it. <clears throat> Hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some drama. Oh, he's powerful. Uh, so much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> Good, Jesse. Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. Ugh. Not even Miss Butter's gonna do anything against that Colossus. We need something bigger, like, uh... Like the structure block! Buy me time. I'm gonna plant some arrow towers. That should make tall, dark, and ugly regret smashing my town. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse! Hey, Stoneface! Over here! Yeah, that's right! Your courage is so much larger than your puny size. Oh, let's see how you deal with the enchanted deliciousness of Miss Butter! I could pink my teeth with that blade. I'll take you down one block at a time! <laughs> Block. Ha ha. Finders keepers. This tiny thing won't save you, Jesse. Not from me. Okay, this is a little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh. home. Hide and seek is beneath you. Jesse, the champion should be better than this. If you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. seen it before. The Prismarine soldiers back at the Sea Temple had the same symbol. Ah! Oh, there we are. All right, Admin, you want to fight? You got one. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Looking a little helpless, champion. Not even champion there sarcastically. Hey, Rockface! Eat this! <sighs> Version, the admin. He like built the world or something. Uh, Kay. Are you alright? I mean, he really had you up there. Am now. Man, I missed you. Aw. You're just saying that because I pulled you from the literal jaws of doom. <laughs> I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that yes, I'm hoping sir. might be the key to defeating him. You can't now. Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. 
Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Blockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. You're protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Eventually. You don't know anything about me. <gasps> Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if... Oops. No! You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, Admin. Oh, boy. Do you really think you can defeat me, Jesse? I don't think. I know. <laughs> Confidence. Was really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googlies touch me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? You make a compelling point, Lucas. My hand is still trapped in this freaky gauntlet. <sighs> yeah. Not to be a worrier, but he might not be as dead as we hope. I I'm worried enough for both of us. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually <clears throat> Actually, I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. 
Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. I, my, uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. I know you didn't think I was ready to watch a whole town, but I can watch a clock. I don't know, buddy. It's a pretty dangerous clock. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Well, yeah, good. That's good. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. It'll be all right. Damage isn't too terrible. That's a really good outlook. And, um... When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. Well, maybe you're right. Well, today goes to show that the people will love you no matter what. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. Okay, we've had a ton of adventures, and... I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. Okay, let's see what we can do for you, buddy. There. Now that is a monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. 
Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Aw, oh, come on. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey, guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. Uh, she should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was... artful. Oh, I can't take all the credit. You guys totally helped, too. Spare me the pity props, Jesse. Don't need them. Hey, it wasn't pity. I'm, I'm just saying I know I'm still getting used to fighting with only one eye. It's cool. I'm just glad my shop's all right. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake has been reduced to some uh, what, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be. <coughs> Shut up. What you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Love theoretical conversations. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, quite. Wow, I thought Jack was a bad liar. But you're pretty terrible at it too, Voss. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh... Yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, that's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, bus possible stuff. We haven't even rebuilt yet, Petra. Well, I didn't think you needed me for that. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? Fighting a giant statue in the middle of town? Uh, okay, yeah, that was kind of cool. Ah, uh, see? I knew you'd know what I was talking about. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes! You're perfect for my creations. Perfect! Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Hear that? That's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane. Mm. You'll never get away with this. Oh, come on, some zombies? So scary. Ooh, a hero with attitude. I love it. I really do. <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night. Forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is like. <laughs> really hard. You're putting innocent people in danger just for your games? Yeah, well, 
technically, you're the one putting them in danger if you don't go after the clock. So... Uh, why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? <laughs> why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is going to be epic. <laughs> you think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Strays, pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye bye now. Ah, we need to protect the people. Run, hide everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard, watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course! Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You stay safe, Nurm, okay? Hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nurm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he better keep his deal. We get the clock, the town's freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another, hunchier way to convince him. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To... 
I don't know. Find myself? I just don't get it. Did I do something to make you angry? No, no, it's not about you. It's just something... something I need to do. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. Petra, of course I need you. That's ridiculous. Ugh, see... This is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? Your thing is that you help your friends. You're the best friend I've ever had, Petra. Yeah, uh, I guess. And I feel the same way about you, of course. <laughs> Luna? Is that a scarf on that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? Oh, we know her all right. She kicked me for absolutely no reason when we found her in a cave. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot that lovely little talent. If I had to take a guess, I'd say you probably deserved it. Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. <coughs> Hush, I'm talking. Yes, it is I. It's been some time since I've seen you, my nemesis. I've dreamt of challenging you again since our last confrontation. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jack, was it? As in the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. You are just... wow. Just absolutely delusional. Am I, or is that just what you want me to think? For the love of... We're chasing the bad guy that did it. You really think Jesse has the power to do something like this? All right, let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the, the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. Ugh. I know you said my thing was helping my friends, but I want the record to show she is not my friend. Just FYI. <laughs> You okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm 
actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding! <laughs> I know. I'm right there with you, Jack. That is incredible. It's like I was telling you, Radar. Never a dull moment. Hey, found the clock. Oh, perfect. But how are we going to get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's going to be, like, obstacles or something when we get... <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Stella, I know you haven't met him yet, but I promise you, the admin is nuts. <sighs> yeah, you really don't want any part of that. Trust me. Huh, lesser minds often do mistake true genius for madness. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I can't wait for you to meet him. Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah, really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. As far as I'm concerned, Radar, you don't need to change. You can just be... you. See? And that's what makes you one million times the leader she'll ever be. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite! Mystery levers! What's going on? Aha! Hello, everyone! <laughs> please, please gather round! Don't be shy! Here we go again. Oh, look how many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, uh, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So. We'll see how your little companions do, hey? You watch it, Admin. And who exactly made you the judge? Um, my near-infinite power? I thought that was obvious. Like I said, Radar, power runs the world. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This, this is all for you. New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you! Cook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with a whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. I'll give you one thing, Admin. This place is pretty spectacular. That's what I like to hear! I knew you'd understand. 
Oh, I am just ecstatic that you see things my way. Thrilled! <laughs> so, how about we get this show on the road? Landing. Ah, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Hey, but what about your people? Champion City. You're totally selling them out. Boy, do you think, Small. If I'm working with the admin, I'll be able to help Champion City even more. I hope. Wow. It's... it's amazing. Hmm. You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do, with a prize like that. I know that it sounds amazing and that I want it. Oh, really? Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <laughs> hey now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Hey, don't treat Luna like that. She obviously hates it. I think I know my darling Luna a little better than you do. Let's go, Luna. <laughs> That is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it, just uh, stating facts. All in this together, all right? No one's getting left behind here. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. Oh, wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during Material Organization Week isn't the coolest. That was... that was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk all over me. They, they think they... they look at me and my... well, my, my skinny little arms and, and they think they know me. They think they know me? Well, they are wrong. Dead wrong! I mean... I have been an embarrassment sometimes, but it stops here. It ends today. And I... I, <clears throat> I guess I'm done. Sorry. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. There are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. That's it, Luna, darling. She's got the clock sent. <laughs> Later, losers. We're wasting time. Wait, the admin built this whole place to eliminate people, right? Trick them? Sure, it looks like Luna found something, 
but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. safe, okay? If you're sure. Woohoo! I knew you'd make the smart choice! Okay? Definitely. What a rush. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm so sorry. I'm okay. Really. Just getting my adventure legs. I'll be better in a minute. Hey, it's okay. Take the time you need. Yeah. We'll wait. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not so bad. I can do this. I gotta say, if you're having a hard time with the minecarts, you might not like what comes next. Hello there, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood admin. <laughs> Pretty proud of this challenge, not gonna lie. I was feeling very inspired by the concept of karma. I'd tell you why, but... Well, that spoiled the surprise. I'm sure you understand, right? Real heroes live for surprises. Unexpected dangers. Oh, that's all right. Tell me. I'm cool with spoilers. I just told you I'm not going to spoil the surprise. Just play along here. Let's just say I hope you're feeling good about your archery skills, hmm? Between you and me, though, champion, I'm less worried about your archery than I am about your choice of companions. Let's see if I can shuffle the board a bit, hmm? Give you another pair of hands to help out? Where? How? He's no Jesse. But he's better than that other guy, right? Oh, dear. All you need to do is activate the shooting gallery, hit all the targets, and the door will open. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay, but what are those pumpkin heads for? Don't worry, Jesse. We'll figure it out. I don't have anything to shoot those targets with. in this hopper. Arrows, perfect for shooting targets with. Now I just need a bow.
Always good to have string around. Boss, are you okay? Oh, Jesse! It was the most startling thing. One minute there, the next minute, poof. Well, welcome to the party, I guess. Huh. Yeah. I, I know that I haven't been at my best in the time that we've known each other, but I promise, I do know what I'm doing. Don't worry, Voss, I believe you. Everyone's allowed to get a little rusty. Hmm. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, come on. Let's solve whatever devious challenge the admin has set before us. Now, I think you need to give him a little more credit. Hey, what you talking about? We were talking about how sometimes you need to just ignore people that are being difficult. Now, Jesse... <laughs> Jesse knows all about that. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Jesse's had to go on adventures with all sorts of people. I mean, I had to learn a lot about this stuff back when I had a gang called the Ocelots. There was a guy named Aiden who, well, let's just say he taught me a lot about how to laugh things off. Huh. That's really interesting. Well, I suppose we should get back to figuring this room out, huh? We'll get it. Yeah! Bet this will come in handy. Bet this will come in handy. Arrows, check. Bow, not yet. A button. Maybe it turns this whole thing on. our way out of here.
nice. Sweet. Let's tear up some targets, huh? <laughs> he really reminds me of us. You know, back in the day, eager to make his mark. Always ready for whatever's around the next corner. I still worry about him. He's got a lot to learn. <laughs> so did we. Man, sometimes I still can't believe how far we've come. Come on. How do you turn this stupid thing on? <laughs> Looks like he needs our help. Got everything I need. Just need to get this thing moving. All right, Button. You're mine. So cool! All right, Lucas. Show the admin who he's messing with. Radar? Huh, this is gonna be easy. Tougher. Man, Jesse, you're good. I'm definitely gonna steal some of those moves. Here comes round three. Fine shot. Almost feels like I made this challenge too easy for you. Oh wait, no, I'm totally messing with you. Time for level two. <laughs> Hang on! What are you... Oh, man. Look out! Boss! Jesse! Take care of yourself! Follow me!
fake it, Radar. It's hero time! Let's get out of here. Stage three. Wasn't your fault, Radar. Voss has to be somewhere in this place. We'll find him. Taste my bravery? Well, I figured it was appropriate. That was intense. Would it be weird for me to go in for a hug? Because uh, I'm kind of feeling the hug vibe right now. Let's stick to a high five, all right? It's cooler. Yeah, super cool. Petra! Hey, have you guys seen Voss? One second he was with us, and the next, gone! Hello? Help! A power hole there? No, 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 no! No one deserves this. Not even Stella. She might be a bit stuck up, and she doesn't really treat anyone that nicely, but... She's a person, too. Stella's been totally impossible, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't help her. Ugh, you have a point. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. This is all wrong, people, wrong! You're not supposed to help each other. The losers are supposed to lose. Like spectacles over here. There was no way Radar would have fought his way out of that room without you. You should have just cut him loose. Jettison that baggage. Seeing someone like you held back by that? Oh, painful! He's as good as any of us. He has just as much right to be here. <sighs> Fine. You convince me. It's not often I give second chances. Have one condition, though. Hey, don't... 
See how our bucko does on his own, eh? What do you think the chances are? Without Jeez. you. Ah! Don't worry, guys. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! This is not good. We have to do something. We'll have to maneuver past all that cacti. Floating lava? That's just that's crazy! There's a door. Go for the door! He's not gonna make it. We can't just stand here. Jesse! Here we go. Oh. Radar, the door! Jesse! Jesse, I just had a thought. Maybe, maybe I can do this. Maybe I am a hero. Or not! Radar! This, this is impossible. Admin told us to go through his stupid challenge, but maybe we can find another way. Did anyone... Luna? That llama can get to the other side of the wall, so can we. Yeah, we're never punching through that. Anyone got anything to make a pickaxe? I have some sticks. Three diamonds! It sounds like a diamond pickaxe to me. going up and our friends went up and that's where we're headed to uh hate to point out the obvious but we can't climb oh no
can't see Voss. We're gonna have to divide and conquer here, people. One of you go for the clock, one of you come with me and Lucas to rescue the others. Disappointing? Foss! Oh, I 
tried. I really, really did. I... How did you get here, boss? Oh, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. I, I just don't understand you. Letting your friends go. Radar? <laughs> he clearly wasn't supposed to make it, despite you dragging him along. Losers are supposed to lose, Jesse. Boss, friend, what are you doing? Why are you saying these things? No, nothing to say. Answer me! Boss, why are you acting this way? <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? You don't. He's the admin. Oh, you are a smart cookie, Jesse. Of course I am! Boss... The whole time? No, not the whole time, you nitwit! The real Voss would never have survived in my sea temple that long. I am disappointed, Jesse. You obviously just don't have what it takes to really be my friend. My partner. Such a pity. Such a waste. Now, hang on there. Let's just start over and discuss this friend thing from the top. No. No, I'm afraid it's too late for that. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Admin, sir. I just wanted to say that I would love to be your partner. But you... lost. Technically, yes. But unlike them, I actually appreciate what you're offering. You don't say. Ugh, yeah, you two belong together, all right. Just a couple of selfish wackos. I'll take that as a compliment. Jesse, I really appreciate you saving me. Love ya. Mean it. But you obviously don't understand the magnitude of what this... this Paragon is offering. Huh. But, uh, Stella, was it? Yes, sir. See, she may not have the skills, but that is a terrific attitude. Your attitude, on the other hand? Oh, well. There's nothing that hurts more than broken hopes. I made this for you. Just for you. And how do you repay me? You cheated! How could you do this to me? How could you do this to us? Oh, that's adorable. They're mad they got manipulated. I should be mad that I had to waste all that time looking like that crusty old adventurer. I gave you so many chances! What? <laughs> it has no all been to waste. No, no! You might not be worthy. Jack here was the winner. Oh, don't get me wrong. There are quite a few flaws we'll have to work through, but we'll get there. In time? No! You can't! Oh, Jack! Where did he go? Oh, don't even worry about it. It's not for a loser like you to worry about where the cool people go. Jack! No! <laughs> Shh! Like I said, not for you guys to worry about. Oh. I'm done letting you make me feel bad. I prefer to feel good. And I'm going to feel real good when I send you two to a place where you'll never see the light of day. Ever again. No! You must be a special class of trouble to end up here. The admin. Well, 
This is where he sends the people who he has special plans for. You may have noticed, it's not a very nice place. And the people? Well, they're not very nice either.